Hello and welcome back to HGTV Handmade. I am Maria Antoinette and today we are going to be doing our own take on sort of the marquee, the big signs, something to just bring out maybe your last name in your home. But we're going to customize this large paper mache letter with some paints. So I want to show you guys some really cool techniques. Let's get started. All right, I'm going to be starting with a flatter synthetic brush. Uh, nice length. It's not too dense, but it's got a lot of flex in it. So I'm going to go ahead and get my white base down. I always find when painting something like this, it's always good to have an inspiration. My inspiration just happens to be behind me. We are going to be bringing that onto this letter. All right, now that we got our white base down, you notice I only took it three-fourths of the way down because the rest of this is going to be Mirage of Blues. I'm gonna use the same brush I started with my white with and dip it into the darkest color. The dark color is going to help me build in a lot of depth and ground the piece. And don't forget about these little inside spots. It's a great way to add color and dimension as well. You wanna make sure you paint all the way around. You'll notice there's no certain technique I'm doing with the brush because we want that jagged, unfinished edge. Now I'm going to move into my metallic. This is a beautiful sea foam color. It's got a metallic pearlized finish. We're gonna go in behind that blue that we just put in, the dark blue. We're gonna add in some shadowing and depth with that. And it's okay if you overlap. This is where the layering and the depth starts to really build itself. Using different angles of the brush also create amazing technique and texture. So going from the sides of the brush, flat on, or even the tip of the brush allows to build in great texture and movement. And now we're moving into our next shade of blue. This is a little bit lighter than the metallic, and of course it's lighter than the dark. You'll notice that I'm not really worried about drying each layer because I'm not really touching the previous layers a ton. And if I do, a slight bleed of those colors together just adds to this. Now we can go back into our blue, add a little bit more dimension. Okay, before we go any further, I do want to go ahead and do a quick dry over this first layer, and then I can come back in and do a little bit more detailing. Now I'm gonna go in and detail a little bit more, add more layers, add more texture. Each layer you add is going to create more depth and more texture, and that is definitely what we want when we are creating this. Now I'm doing this on a small scale. Could you imagine doing something as beautiful as a piece like that or even larger? You can even make an accent wall using this same technique, layering, using different colors in the same family. I mean, different ranges of colors in the same family. So you know, you can do a wall accent of purples or blues. Just have a lot of fun with it. It's a very happy piece. done and it's that simple it's very therapeutic it's absolutely beautiful and you made it this would be an amazing party to throw with your girlfriends get a whole bunch of letters that represent each person's name and you guys can all customize them for your home uh, comment below of some other ways that you would use this don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe and we will see you in the next video bye yeah call me Bob Ross yes <laughs>